Hey guys, and welcome to another quick Kajabi tutorial. My name is Rebecca Austin, and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting, feel free to click that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you make sure you get the latest notifications on our recent releases. We do release regularly every week on tips on how to use Kajabi and market your online business. So today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a pre-recorded webinar pipeline. One of the cool things about Kajabi is that you can create sales funnels directly inside the system to more easily m market your webinar sequence for lead generation as your free offer and then upsell from there to whatever program or coaching or paid offer that you may have. Now, sometimes you want to do your webinars live, but then there's other times where it may be more beneficial to do a recorded webinar. And this is how we want to set that up in the Kajabi system. Of course, there's always multiple ways of doing any one thing, but this is the way that I like to do it. And I hope you find this beneficial. So let's jump on in to the tutorial on setting up a pre-recorded webinar pipeline. After we've created our webinar pipeline for our pre-recorded webinar, if you are using the Zoom template, you will have your registration page, the event emails prior to and after, the confirmation page, and your sales page. But because this is a pre-recorded template as far as what we want is a pre-recorded webinar instead of a live webinar, we need to insert between the confirmation page and the sales page a event page. So the first thing we need to do is create that page. So if we go back to our main menu, go to our website page builder. We can either go to our basic template if you've already created a template that has your header and your footer and your branding and everything all created for you. You just clone that template. Otherwise, if you haven't done that already, we'll select new page. I like to use either Premiere or one of the newer templates. And then we want to create one that is our pre-recorded webinar event page and create. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for everything to get generated, but once you have your page ready to go, we can start editing. Now, because this is an event hosting page, we want to eliminate some of the elements that are here and then add the ones that we need. So I usually like to start from scratch, so I just delete the segments that are not necessary or delete everything and then start over. It just kind of depends on what works best for you. But this is how I like to do it. Um, and then of course, edit your header edit your footer, change your colors, make sure everything is branded, double check your settings to make sure that your, your favicon and the color scheme and everything are set up the way you want them. But when we go into our sections, we want to add section, and the most important section that we want to add is event video. You see this one right here. Because this is where it will trigger the system to then insert your pre-recorded video. And it's got some really cool settings, so let's talk about this. So first what we wanna do is select the event that we wanna to attach to this page. And because we created our webinar uh, event pipeline, we already have the event created for us. So we select our event, and now what you'll see is that we have a couple of options that are showing on our preview page. So there is what will show before the event. So if someone clicks on this link prior to the scheduled date and time, they'll get a countdown timer and we can adjust what is the text is on that. We have what shows when the event is starting. Then we have what shows after the event. So we have all of these really great settings that we can adjust. So we simply go down our 
settings here on the side, we can change our background image because this is before the event. So we'll go up here to before the event. You can have an image that you create that says uh, the title and the branding that goes along with your event. Adjusting, of course, your background color and your text. The join event, we have then what you want to be displayed here what your call to action want, will be to enter the webinar or enter the training room. Adjust our settings the way you want them for your brand. Then during the event, this is where you upload your event video. That way then everyone will be able to, once they click on enter training room, it goes right into the event video. And then we have our after the event where you then can put in your call to action to encourage them to take advantage of your amazing offer that is going with this event. So once you have all of this set up, of course, then you click save. And then just like any other page, we can add additional sections so you can have uh, links to your blog, you can have some graphics, you can have some additional um, really cool things that you put in here, including um, your call to actions and all those kind of things. So now we have our page created. What we will do, and you can always go back and edit that after the fact as well, but now we're going back to our marketing pipeline. So we go into our pre-recorded webinar pipeline. After the confirmation page, we want to add a page, existing landing page, find our landing page, and click Save. And now what we have is our registration, which then takes them to the pre-event emails. But then what we want to do is we have this page we want to get the link to this page and insert that page link into our emails. So what we do is we go back to this page and get the actual link. The easiest way to do that from here is we go to these three dots on the side and click edit details. Then we can go in here and copy the URL for that event. Go up here to our event emails, find the email that has the event link in it, and then paste that into that spot. And then click Save. So now when someone goes to their event email sequence, and of course if you have this event email in any of your other pre-event emails, make sure that you change that in each one of these so that it's directing them to the proper page. But if they click on that link prior to the event, they will see the before the event, this part right here shows before the event. If they click on it at the time of the event, then of course they see this. So that's the easiest way then to set all of that up and to get it to where we now have a pre-recorded webinar pipeline sequence. It's pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's just a few steps to remember. So the first step, of course, is that we create our pipeline. The second step is that we, add, we create a page that is our event page, adding our event video somewhere in that page. Then we add the page to the pipeline copy the link to the page and insert that link into our pre-event um, emails. Now, if you want to have an additional page that can be the replay type of page, you can duplicate this entire process by creating a replay page, having different um, customization on the page. You can have different elements on the page because now this is people who have already been there and they want to go back and replay the video. So you do the same thing, but instead of doing an event video on your, re your replay page, you would just insert video. And then your replay page links go into your event recap emails. 
So that's just in a nutshell how we would set up our recorded webinar pipeline. So thanks again for joining me on this tutorial. And if you're interested in more information about our Kajabi tips, we have more information on our blog at our website, striveforsavvy.com and on our Facebook page. Feel free to reach out and comment below if you have any questions about this pipeline. And if you plan on giving it a try yourself, just give me a thumbs up so that I know that you will be using this on your Kajabi account. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.